What's going on everyone? Hazel the Joy here. I asked in a live stream what tutorial you guys would like to see me make, and a Batania tree farm was the most popular response. This farm works in any version of Batania, is totally self-sufficient, and is very efficient for its size. Just set it up, and you'll have unlimited logs. If you like the tutorial, if it helps you out, remember to drop a like and subscribe for more content just like this. Let's get started. To get started, you'll need the items in this chest. If you don't recognize all of them, don't worry. I'll leave a list of the items in a pinned comment, and we'll be going over them one by one. Start by placing down a mana pool. On either side of the mana pool, place an elven mana spreader. On each mana spreader, place a resistance lens. This will boost the distance that the mana burst can travel from the spreaders. On top of each spreader, place a mana prism. Any mana burst that travels through a mana prism will be able to pick up the effects of another lens. Place a boar warp lens on each prism. The boar warp lens is a powerful lens that not only breaks blocks that it travels through, but can teleport and returns all the items it breaks to the origin mana pool. To craft the boar warp lens, place both the boar and warp lenses in a crafting table with a slime ball. Make sure that the lens is green when you craft it. If it's purple, swap the lenses around. Place a force relay two blocks above each mana prism. Above the relays, place a mana pool. Now you can use the Wand of the Forest to bind the spreaders with the mana pools above them. This will trick the mana spreaders into firing into the force relays. Between the force relays, place a floating munch stew. Below it, place a mana spreader and use the Wand of the Forest to bind it to the mana pool. The munch stew is a flower that eats leaves to produce mana. This is what's going to power this farm. Dig down next to the mana pool. Two blocks below the mana pool, place a redstone torch on either side under the mana spreaders. Then place a repeater pointing into the block that the torches are on. Behind the repeater, place a hovering hourglass and put 20 sand in it. You can then fix your floor. Two blocks away from the mana pool, place a hopper hawk. The hopper hawk is a flower that vacuums up nearby items, so it will serve as the collection system. Place three containers next to the hopper hawk, one for each drop from the trees. Place an item frame on each to designate which items go where. Place a pulse mana spreader next to the mana pool on the ground, and place a drum of the canopy above that. Use the wand of the forest to bind the pulse mana spreader to the drum. The drum of the canopy breaks leaves so the farm can collect saplings more quickly. If you're playing with fast leaf decay on, you can skip this step. Place a hovering hourglass next to the pulse mana spreader, and place 30 sand in it. Next, place 8 coarse dirt in the ground as shown. Eight blocks above each one, place a force relay. Next, place two more coarse dirt to form a double X shape and one extra coarse dirt as shown here. Next, we're going to bind the force relays to the correct blocks to teleport the mana bursts. Take the wand of the forest and right click on one of the force relays next to the munch dew. Right click again on one of the coarse dirt to bind it, then continue to right click half of the force relays one by one and bind them to another coarse dirt, ending in the center of the X. Now repeat the process on the other half of the relays. Refer to the diagram to see which coarse dirt each relay should bind to. On the final coarse dirt, place a floating Ranon Carpus. The random carpus is a flower that picks up nearby items and places them on a block matching the one it's floating above, so it will always plant your saplings on the correct blocks. Now we will build the system to transfer the saplings over to the random carpus. Dig a three deep hole by the random carpus as shown. Two blocks away, place a red stream container and make sure that the red dot is facing upwards. Place a redstone dust on top of the red stream container, a block on top of that, a pressure plate on top of that, and an open crate above the pressure plate. Place a hopper pointing into the red stream container. Place a corporea funnel on top of the hopper and place a corporea spark on it. On one side of the funnel, place an item frame with a birch sapling in it. On the opposite side, place a hovering hourglass with one piece of sand in it. You can now fix the floor. In the center of the double X, dig down two blocks and place a barrel then place a Master Corporea Spark on it. Then you can cover it up. Next, place a Corporea Spark on the container that holds the saplings. 
The Corporea Funnel will extract one item from the Corporea Network each time it receives a redstone signal. The items are sent to the registering container, which wirelessly sends them up to the open crate. This system only ever drops one sampling at a time into the world, so it's very safe for servers. Dig down two blocks behind the pressure plate, place a redstone dust, then cover it up. Place a lever on top. This lever is the on-off switch for the whole farm. Place the agricarnations around the edge of the farm. The exact placement and count doesn't matter. The agricarnation uses mana to magically bone meal trees, so the more you place, the faster your trees will grow. All that's left to do now is feed some saplings into the farm and let the farm do the rest. You could use some bone meal to grow the first few trees to jumpstart the farm, but after that you won't need to use bone meal anymore. And that's the farm complete. I hope you enjoy this farm. It's a fully automatic tree farm that works in any version of Batania. It should produce enough logs for most people's needs. If you liked this tutorial, you learned something, or it helped you out, please hit the like button. It's quick and free and really helps me out. If you want to see more tutorials like this, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, or feel free to ask me live on Twitch. If you have any suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see, leave them in the comments or drop them in my Discord. I'm Hazel the Joy, and thanks for watching.